This video demonstrates using Liquid XML objects from within the Microsoft Visual Studio development environment. Liquid XML objects is an advanced XML data binding technology which allows you to read in, modify and write out XML documents from a strongly typed object model. In order to demonstrate this, we're first going to create a .NET Framework console app. Next, we'll add an existing XML schema called bookstore.xsd. If we open bookstore.xsd, we'll see it's a simple XML schema containing a bookstore with a list of books, and each book has a title, an author, price, etc. We can now generate our object model by right clicking the bookstore XSD and selecting Generate Data Binding Code. This will add the necessary references, resources, and it will also generate a bookstore.cs code file. Bookstore.cs contains our object model which represents the items within the bookstore XSD. Now we have our object model, we can read in an existing XML document. To do this, we are going to need to use the LX serialize object. This can be found in the liquid technologies.xml objects namespace. We need to provide the root object type that represents our bookstore. This is the bookstore L. We can now write the code to read our XML data into our object model. We do this using the serializers deserialize method. This has a number of overloads. We are just going to provide a path directly to our existing file. We can now write a simple loop to loop around the books contained in our bookstore. As you can see, as the objects are strongly typed, we can see a book has an author, price, etc. OK, if I now run the program, we get a list of the books and their authors. We can now create our own book and add it to the existing bookstore. We do this using the book type complex type object.
As publication date is of type date, we need to use the LX datetime object. I will quickly add in the other details. We can now add the new book to the bookstore. We can now use the LX serializer to write out the new object model using the serialize method. Now, if I rerun the application, we can see the XML is output to the console and includes our new book.